Good morning. Welcome to tutorial one of Onshape. Um, we're going to start out nice and simple. I know some people will fly through this, but maybe a couple of people need a reminder of how to use the sketch tools and how to use extrude. So first thing we're going to do is select sketch up top left, and then we need to decide what plane we are going to sketch on. Okay, so if you imagine that each of these planes is like a piece of paper, we're going to select which of them we want to draw on. Okay, so for this one, we're going to draw on the top plane. So we select the top plane and you'll see that it opens up a sketch on that top plane. We're going to click on top over here on the top right and then that brings us so that we're looking down directly at top from 90 degrees. We want to sketch a rectangle, so we're going to select corner rectangle. You'll see down here we've also got the option of center point rectangle, so you can have a little bit of a play around and see the difference between those two. But for now, we're going to select corner rectangle, and we are going to draw a rectangle that begins at the origin. So the origin is the point where all three planes meet. So it's this little dot that highlights in orange when you're hovering near it. So we're going to select the origin. So you click once and then you drag your mouse out and you click once more and that creates a rectangle. Now you can see that some of the lines are in blue because they are not fully constrained and what that means, let's exit, exit um, rectangle, but what that means is that you can drag the rectangle anywhere you like, okay? These lines at the bottom are constrained, so we can't drag them up and down because they're defined by this origin, but these two lines can be dragged anywhere you like, so we need to fix that. The way we fix that is by selecting dimension, or you can hit D on your keyboard, and you drag down and you click a line that you want to dimension, and then you click once more to change the dimension, we're going to make it 100 millimeters, and you'll see that as we add in dimensions that the lines turn black. And what that means, if we exit dimension once more, is that we cannot drag those points. So they're now fully defined, which means they cannot move, and that's what we want. The next thing we're going to do is to select a circle. So we're going to choose center point circle again. If you click on the drop down menu, you'll notice different options. But for this one, we'll choose center point circle and we'll draw a circle. Doesn't really matter where. There we go. Now, you'll see that that is in blue. So the center of the circle is blue and the circumference of the circle is blue. And what that means is that it's not fully constrained. We can move it around, we can change the size. So we need to fix that. And same as with the rectangle, we can click D on our keyboard and we're gonna select the center of the rectangle and, sorry, the center of the circle and the edge of the rectangle. And we're gonna make that dimension 50. And if we select the center of the circle, and the bottom edge of the rectangle will make that dimension 25. Now, you can see that the center of the circle has turned black, which means that we cannot move the center of that circle. That won't move. If I click and drag, it doesn't move. However, the circumference of the circle is still not defined. I can change it. So we need to add a dimension for the circumference of the circle. And let's make it sorry, for the diameter of the circle, let's make that 20 millimeters, and there we go. Everything is in black now, which means it's fully constrained. The next thing we are going to do is to extrude that shape, okay? Now, so we're moving from sketch, which is all these options up here, all these sketch tools, to features. And the fe feature we're gonna choose is extrude, and the software, realizes that we don't want to extrude that center circle, okay? We can change the dimension up here to, let's make it 50 millimeters, doesn't really matter, but let's just add in 50 millimeters and green tick to say that that's all okay, all right? That's tutorial one finished, essentially. What I want you to do is click share and then 
search names or emails, please search for for my email address. You guys all have it. I'll write it on show my homework as well, just to remind you. And once you've done that, hit share over here. That's tutorial one done. Um, I will add another tutorial straight away. We'll probably do a couple of these for every lesson that you've got. And I look forward to receiving all your documents. Remember, if you need any help, I'll, I've put my email address on Show My Homework. So if, you need, if you're not sure what you need to do, if something's not working, if you need your password reset, I'm obviously still in school so I can get all that done for you. All right. See you soon.